And Britain has voted to leave the European Union in a referendum with a result throwing into question the fate of the 28-nation bloc. The official results were announced with leave, receive, with leave receiving 59.1% on Thursday's historical referendum. At least 72% of 46.5 million voters turned out to cast their ballots. Cameron, who had backed a vote to remain in the EU, said the British people made a very clear decision to take a different part. Britain is said to be the first country to leave the EU since its formation, but the Leave vote does not immediately mean Britain ceases to be a member of the 28-nation bloc. That process could take a minimum of two years, with Leave campaigners suggesting during the referendum campaign that it should not be completed until 2020, the date of the next scheduled general election. The UK's vote to leave the EU has sparked demands from far-right parties for referendums in other member states. France's National Front leader Marine Le Pen said the French must now also have the right to choose, while Dutch anti-immigration politician Gert Wilders said the Netherlands deserved an exit vote, with Italy's Northern, Northern League saying it's their turn. And in the UK, Prime Minister David Cameron is set to step down by October after the UK voted to leave the European Union. Mr. Cameron made the announcement in a statement outside Downing Street after the final result was announced on Thursday. He said he would attempt to steady the ship after the coming weeks and months, but after fresh leadership was needed. I will do everything I can as Prime Minister to steady the ship over the coming weeks and months. But I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain that steers our country to its next destination. This is not a decision I've taken lightly, but I do believe it's in the national interest to have a period of stability and then the new leadership required. There is no need for a precise timetable today, but in my view we should aim to have a new Prime Minister in place by the start of the Conservative Party conference in October. The Prime Minister had urged the country to vote Remain, warning of economic and security consequences of an exit but the UK voted to leave by 52% to 48%. England and Wales voted strongly for Brexit, while London, Scotland and Northern Ireland backed staying in. UKIP leader Nigel Farage hailed it as, it as the UK's Independence Day, but the Remain camp called it a catastrophe. The pound fell to its lowest level against the dollar since 1985 as the markets reacted to the results. Flanked by wife, Samantha, Mr. Cameron said he had informed the Queen of his decision to remain the, in place for the short term and to then hand over to a new Prime Minister by the time of the Conservative Conference in October. He said the new Prime Minister would invoke Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty, which would give the UK two years to negotiate its withdrawal. We'll move on to media to some sports stories. Stay with us.